Today, health officials reported a 15th person infected with Zika by mosquitoes in Florida's Miami-Dade County. But this one was outside the so-called Zika zone in Miami's Wynwood neighborhood. Zika can cause severe birth defects. David Begno reports a major effort is underway to protect women who are expecting. Women are scared to death right now. 36-year-old Jessica Ardenti is an expectant mother and a nurse practitioner. It makes it worse because you know what's out there in the news, but then you also know the medical ramifications that can happen. Not to mention you live in the Zika zone. Not to mention I live in the Zika zone, right smack dab in the middle. Following CDC recommendations, today she gave blood and urine samples to test for the presence of Zika virus. Our denti is due in January. So at this point, we're not telling women that there's a safe trimester. Of our denti's OBGYN is Dr. Christine Curry of the University of Miami's Miller School of Medicine. She is monitoring 12 pregnant women believed to have contracted Zika while traveling. A year ago, there wasn't a conversation about it, and now it's something that's affecting and infecting most of our hemisphere. And so it's really changing the reproductive narrative for women all over the world. We're going to test how attracted these mosquitoes are to me. Dr. Matthew De Janeiro is a mosquito geneticist who believes Zika will spread to other pockets of Miami-Dade County. The way this will happen is not by the spread of mosquitoes themselves, it's by the movement of infected people. The CDC is encouraging everyone living in areas where there are mosquitoes that can carry Zika to protect themselves by covering up and using repellent with DEET. DEET should be Miami's new perfume. Today, inside the Zika zone, Miami police handed out free repellent to homeless people. Ardenti is spending less time outdoors, awaiting the outcome of her Zika test. How long will it take to get the results? Seven to 10 days. A little too long for you? I would love to know tomorrow, but it's not going to happen. The rain has come and the mosquitoes have gone, at least for now. Charlie, starting tomorrow morning here in Miami-Dade County, they're going to begin aerial spraying against mosquitoes. It's going to happen in a 10-square-mile area right around the so-called Zika zone. Thanks, David.